With all of the online dating right now, or the apps, and they make it so easy. Everybody's going out, you know, you're meeting a lot of people. I think of Match, you know, just, a, just so many people coming in and you talk to them. You can understand something that I really want to talk about, and that is the topic of serial dating. Um, serial daters don't usually come in for therapy. That's the first thing. But the person they leave behind does because that person is really hurt. And the thing about a serial dater that you have to understand is it's not about you. Like, they're not mean or malicious. They just personally get a high off the chase. They love the high of something new, of a new date. And so they date people maybe one, two, three, even four times. But basically, once they feel like they've got, they got to know you, you're gone. And they ghost or they whatever. They're not, they're not really out to get you. They're just out to move on. And many times when they date you, they have other people in line too. But they're really good, really smooth about it. So you more than likely won't know unless you've dated a fair amount yourself. Serial daters will tell you, I'm looking for a relationship, and that's a catchphrase for them. They love that. They are looking for a relationship for one or two times. But it's not the relationship. They're really not into getting to know who you are. They really don't care about that place. They're more about the adventure of something new, of you new. And that's why when you date one, there are signs. But many times the signs are, are sort of camouflaged. And that's what the people, the victims of them, tell me when they come in. And once again, I'm just going to use that word victims lightly because you're not a victim if you've dated one of these people. They're a learning. They're a teaching. Um, basically, that's what they are. They're teaching dates. Don't follow it. Like, there's better signs to look for if you want a really solid relationship. So the first thing is, they're usually casual. They don't like really um, dressing up. They're not into this to, it's, remember once again, it's not about them impressing you usually. It's about the chase of getting you. Secondly, they get physical right away. And, you know, a couple other toxic types do that. So be careful that you don't pin a label on them that doesn't belong. But they, I mean, they're looking at you and they cannot contain themselves. They want to have sex then. Now, most people are mature enough to wait, but with a serial dater, they don't have time because remember, they're going through many. Um, the dates are always casual. They really rarely spend a lot of money on you. That would be odd unless it's a high-class serial dater. But for the most part, the masses, that is not true. Um, they don't talk about life beyond the date. Like if you want to talk about something you're going to do in the future, we should go hiking. I, I want to go on this trail. Let's plan this. I wouldn't plan with them. And, you know, they won't be interested. They may, say, they may agree to get sex, but... They're not going to be really excited about that. And it's not going anywhere. When you leave the, the date, you're just feeling like, okay, I think they're into me, but I don't know. Now, if you, if you ask yourself, do they ever settle down? They do settle down. They do settle down, but they've dated so many people. And the problem is, if they're finding you and you're hanging on in the hope that they'll settle down, my, my best advice would be probably don't because I, that's where the real hurt comes in because some serial daters, if they find, they're not ready to settle down, but if they find somebody they might circle back around with, they'll, they'll linger They'll like hold them out as long as they can. And those are the people that end up getting the most tormented and really what I consider the most stress from the relationship and hurt because it's really hard to get over that. If you plan something like, wow, this is a really great person, maybe your dates were really great even though they were casual and the person really didn't spend any money, they kept the places you went very low key, 
If you're that kind of person, I could understand why you might believe it's bigger than it is. There are symptoms that you're with one, and I don't know if these will help because they align with other toxic symptoms, but I'm going to tell them to you because if you're dating a serial dater now, they're the least malicious of all the daters. And just know that don't get too invested in it. Um, they progress, they want things quickly, they want to rush. That's true of many. Their eyes often wander to other people when they're with you. That is a pretty classic sign. They get bored easily and they'll change the topic. They're just jumping around. Because like I said, they don't really care. And they talk about other dates or dating online. That should may be a major turnoff to you. And from there, I would just say, okay, I'm, I'm not going back out. Because that's degrading too. Um, they can be very charming. And that's probably if they like you and they're thinking about circling back to you at some future point um, if you're still available. And they won't say that, but I'm telling you that um, I would not make myself available. And the dates are short, okay? These are the kind of things they often say when they talk. And I think this is more helpful than maybe even the warning signs because this is specific to what a serial dater sounds like. So you might want to close your eyes and just listen to these. Um, I have a t short attention span when it comes to people, so I get bored. I move on quickly to find someone new. Uh, if, I, I, if I decide I like you, it's on to the next one quickly. So in other words, if they really like you, they're not staying with you. They, they're going to move on quick, and they actually say this. Um, I love the feeling of a first kiss, and it's the only thing I want right now. I like to meet new people. I just don't like them staying. Um, it's not that I want to hurt people, but serial dating fits me right now. This is from the client who is a serial dater. Um, there's nothing wrong with serial dating. It's how I'll find the right one. And of course, this is a, this is a myth because the more you date, the less likely you'll be satisfied in a committed relationship later on. That research has been done, and I believe I have a YouTube about that too. So where sh what should you do if you're with one? As I read those, what do you think? What are, you know, what is your plan? I already told you they rarely stay with you. And, and if they did, just know up front that when they're with you, they're probably dating someone else too. So it really depends on where you are. If this is someone that you just feel they fit a niche in your life, they feel a need, and you're not going to get invested either, you're kind of serial dating back, I guess that's okay. But what I would do is if I wanted a relationship, a committed relationship that the two of us could grow in and learn in, I would let this one go because there's a lot of people out there who really want that. They want a serious relationship. They want a commitment. And just because you haven't found them doesn't mean there's something wrong with you. It just means the timing's not right. You'll find them. The best advice I could ever give anyone about dating is put yourself in as much of your day with things you love because you look your best, you act your best, and you're your most confident sexual self when you're doing the things you love doing. So make it, make your work day, whatever happens at work, include the things that make you love into the work and you're going to be you're going to be sexy all day and then at night so in other words when i'm at work i always bring little things that i find pleasure and i bring my journal take time to journal i have a little vase i always get a fresh flower from my garden it's there these are things that i love and when i'm surrounded by them I think I'm at my best and you will be too.